Hi, it's your Lindsay Carlson here. The good people at Kino Lorber are at it again. And this time they've given us a Blu-ray release of a classic war film starring William Holden. The movie we're looking at today is The Bridges of Toko Ri. I'm going to unbox this release, share my opinion, and let you know if this one gets my recommendation or not. I do like this old school movie poster looking art. That looks very nice. Got a list of the stars of the film up there. Spine text. Back cover has got all of our usual obligatory stuff. Underneath the slip cover, pretty much the same thing. No reversible art on this one, unfortunately. Sadly, inside the package is about as generic as you can get. I wish they'd thrown some pictures on the backdrop there or something, or even a booklet. I'll read the description of the film. Brand new HD master from a 4K scan of the 35mm original camera negative. This the explosive Korean war novel by celebrated author James A. Michener soars to the screen in this rousing cinema classic from director Mark Robson. Not every Navy pilot can guide his aircraft from a wave-tossed carrier deck, seek out targets over unfamiliar Korean terrain, and then return to what looks like a speck in the sea. Naval reservist Harry Brubaker can. This masterful story of a war-weary World War II veteran who must leave his family to fight again combines moving drama with surefire, bombs away aerial action. Luminous Grace Kelly stars as Brubaker's loving wife, running out of stellar cast are Frederick March, Mickey Rooney, and Robert Strauss. The Bridges at Toko Ri landed two Academy Award nominations for 1955, with Paramount's special effects team winning the coveted Oscar for their thrilling, fiery handiwork. One thing I will say when it comes to war movies, there's a ton of movies about World War II. There's a ton of movies about Vietnam. There's a decent number of movies about World War I. There really aren't that many movies about the Korean War. So getting to go back and revisit one of those is certainly an interesting experience. The Bridges at Toko Ri, of course, stars the always entertaining William Holden in a role where he's conflicted between his personal life with his family and, of course, his military life, having been called back into action, pulled away from his law practice back home, and, of course, thrust into another mission that's going to be the most dangerous he's ever embarked upon. His wife is played by Grace Kelly, and her, along with his two young daughters, definitely want to keep him away from the military and danger, and he understandably has a motivation to get back alive. The movie does take the time to flesh out its characters, and it's something I think it really benefits from. In this case, taking the time to depict Holden's character as a family man, and doing so quite well. Serving as the comic relief for the film, of course, is Mickey Rooney, who plays a helicopter rescue pilot who has a bit of a hot temper, but is our main man's best friend, having saved his life at least once. The movie starts out, of course, showing us life on an aircraft carrier. Then we go to a reunion of the family, and then we're thrust into the fray and all the violence going on on the shores of Korea, and a mission that, of course, has every bit of potential to go wrong. I will say this, a lot of these characters and plot points are not exactly rare. You do see a lot of this in some pretty standard war movies, but the fact is it's the performances and the execution that put this one just a cut above the rest. I've read a lot of reviews for this online saying that even the movie Top Gun and its sequel took a lot of inspiration from The Bridges at Toko Ri, and after having rewatched the film, it's not hard to see that actually, and I do mean that as a compliment of the utmost nature. It's always great to revisit classic war films, William Holden being a veteran of many of them, and his portrayal here definitely sets this one a little higher than many of the other movies that were coming out at the time. How does The Bridges at Toko Ri look for its Blu-ray debut? First of all, the aspect ratio of this film is 1.85 to 1, so it's a widescreen ratio. A lot of the earlier releases of the film were open matte full screen ratio, this came out in that time in the mid-50s when Academy Ratio movies were fading out and we started getting more widescreen films. So there's a lot of movies in that little period there where the actual aspect ratio is debatable. I mean, do you remember a few years ago when Criterion released On the Waterfront on Blu-ray and actually had the film in three different ratios? Yeah, kind of the same deal here. It's only presented in the widescreen ratio here, which supposedly is the intended ratio. And I'm happy to report it looks very good. At no point does this look cropped or anything like that. And the picture quality looks very natural, clear, colorful. There are a few moments of 
rear projection and other optical effects that look very fake and artificial, but I think that just adds to the charm and the nostalgia value of the film. Sadly, this release is lacking in the bonus features department. All we get is a commentary track and then the trailer for the film as well as trailers for some other releases from Kino Lorber. That said, this is by far the best release of the film we've gotten on home video to date. If you are a fan, this is an absolute must-own. Are you a fan of The Bridges at Toko Reed? Did you pick up this Blu-ray release from Kino yet? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content as I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm T.O.T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.